let us pray father in the name of jesus we want to thank you for bringing us safely to the end of another week and for your love and care lord we thank you for sending your son jesus christ to die for us on the cross and for always watching over us in some cases we are not even aware of your presence but your word reminds us in psalm 121 that you neither slumber nor sleep. Lord, we come before you knowing that only you can meet the depths of our needs. We thank you for the work that you are doing among us. As we continue to pray for Mike and Jean, we pray for healing and that you will provide all that is needed for their care. We also lift Greg and Moira before you we also pray for all those who are not well and very dear to our church family. We pray for their healing. Please say their names. Lord, we pray for all these people who have been um, whose names have been mentioned. We pray, Lord, that uh, you will meet all of them at their point of need. And uh, we want to thank you that uh, the COVID-19 vaccination program has been going well in this country. And uh, we are at a point where the lockdown rules can be relaxed further. We pray that the situation continues to improve and that communities will stay safe. We also pray for those who are still anxious about COVID-19, that Lord, you will calm their fears and give them your peace. We pray for countries that are still struggling with the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray especially for India, that they may get help in terms of supplies of oxygen and medicines we pray lord that uh, those people who are currently are suffering will recover we also pray that uh, you would protect healthcare workers and all those involved in reaching out to the suffering communities we also pray for poorer countries across the world who cannot afford uh, the COVID-19 vaccines. We pray that they will get help and supplies as soon as possible. And uh, but we would like to pray for Israel. But uh, before we pray, uh, I'd like to read Psalm 122. I rejoiced with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing in your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built like a city that is closely compacted together. That is where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to praise the name of the Lord according to the statutes given to Israel. There the thrones for judgment stand, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. For the sake of my brothers and friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your prosperity. Lord, we don't always know how to pray but we are instructed to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, uh, we pray for the situation in Jerusalem and in Gaza. Uh, we pray that a peaceful resolution will be reached at very soon. We pray that there may be restraint on both sides and that there may be peace. We are praying for the families on both sides who are affected by the conflict. We pray for those injured and we pray for those who have lost loved ones. 
we pray that they may be comforted. And we also pray for those families who are hiding in the bunkers, that they may hear your voice, Lord, and that they may find a peace that only comes from you. Lord, we surrender the whole situation in Israel to you. And we pray, Lord, that uh, you would help the country heal as soon as possible. And Lord, um, we continue to pray for a peace that passes all understanding, a peace that only comes from you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.